Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Today's Surface Pro tip is how to work with screen scaling. Screen scaling is an issue that appears on modern Windows laptops with high definition screens. For example, on my Surface Pro here, I have a 12 inch screen that's 2736 pixels by 1824. Over here on my external display, I have a 24 inch screen that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. Because of this difference in the pixel densities of each display, you'll find that older applications in particular can act a bit strangely when moving between these different displays. At times, you might find an application maybe like Internet Explorer goes really big on your screen or it goes really small on your screen. The other way that screen scanning presents itself is when text on the screen is a little bit fuzzy and difficult to read. Most modern applications will not exhibit this behavior. So if you've got the latest Office 365 suite, you should find that the programs all work really well across these different pixel displays. The reason that we have these issues is because in the past, developers could generally assume that most people had similar screen sizes and similar screen resolutions. So for example, a developer would write their application and they would assume that one pixel in their program would show as one pixel on the screen. But these days we have lots of different screen sizes, different screen ratios and different screen resolutions. So modern applications need to be written in a way that automatically adjusts to the screen that they're being used on. So because we now have screens with so many pixels packed into a small space, Windows 8 and Windows 10 have allowed us to set a scale for that particular screen, that high resolution screen. So if you go into your display settings, you'll see a setting here under scale and layout that allows you to adjust the size that things appear on the screen. Typically, I have my surface screen set to 200%. On my external displays, I might have that set to 100 or 150%, depending on the screen I'm using. So effectively, by scaling up my programs by 200%, I'm taking one pixel on the screen in that particular program, and I'm mapping it out to fill the space of four pixels. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.